In the world of collegiate sports, athletes face immense pressures that can significantly impact their health and performance. A recent study led by researchers at Penn State University delves into the intricate relationships between stress, eating attitudes, and metabolism in NCAA Division I swimmers and runners. This research highlights how sport-related stress can lead to unhealthy eating habits, particularly during the most demanding phases of an athlete's competitive season. The study, conducted by Emily Lundstrom and Nancy Williams, involved 53 NCLA Division I athletes, including 27 swimmers and 26 distance runners. The researchers assessed these athletes during different phases of their competitive seasons, preseason, peak season, and off season. They discovered that sport-related stress was highest during the peak season and elevated during the preseason, leading to unhealthy eating attitudes and underconsumption of nutrients. These findings suggest that the stress experienced by athletes during these periods can significantly affect their caloric intake and overall health. Sport-related stress can manifest in various ways, including the pressure to maintain specific body types for competitive reasons. This stress can lead to unhealthy eating attitudes, such as a desire for a thinner body or deliberate caloric restriction. The study found that athletes experiencing higher levels of sport-specific stress were more likely to have unhealthy eating attitudes, which in turn led to insufficient caloric intake. This relationship was particularly evident during the pre and peak season when training demands were at their highest. Female athletes in particular are at risk for adverse health effects due to insufficient caloric intake. According to Nancy Williams, underconsumption of nutrients can lead to energy deficiency, eating disorders, bone loss, and bone stress injuries. Additionally, female athletes may experience adverse menstrual cycle changes, such as the loss of menses, which are directly related to inadequate caloric intake. These findings underscore the importance of ensuring that female athletes consume enough calories to meet their energy needs. To determine whether athletes were consuming enough calories, the researchers measured participants' resting metabolic rates. They used dual energy X-ray absorptiometry scans to estimate each athlete's caloric needs based on their body composition. Then, they measured actual metabolic rates by analyzing the athlete's oxygen consumption under a ventilated hood. By comparing the measured resting metabolic rate to the estimated caloric needs, the researchers identified athletes who were not consuming enough calories. This method provided valuable insights into the athlete's metabolic health and caloric intake. The study's findings have significant implications for coaches and researchers. Emily Lundstrom emphasized the need for coaches to be aware of the impact of high stress on athletes' eating habits. Coaches should be aware that periods of high stress, physical, competitive, and academic, can all impact how much collegiate athletes are eating, Lundstrom said. Coaches and athletic programs may need to implement strategies to help athletes manage stress during intense parts of the season. Additionally, researchers should consider the different phases of sports seasons when assessing athletes' stress, eating habits, and well-being. By doing so, they can capture significant unhealthy eating patterns that might otherwise go unnoticed, ultimately contributing to the health and well-being of collegiate athletes.